Alright, another controller video coming at you. I'm going to be programming the Hunter I-Core today. And first off, we're just going to start with the current date and time. And it is flashing the year. We'll go 2000... Oh, plus minus are going to change that. 2013. It is August. Oh, plus or minus. I'm trying to use the arrows like the old one. August 29th, and then we're still in the AM, it is 8.57, you know, I want to do 56, these, uh, oh, sorry, these plus and arrow keys are changing everything, the arrow will advance, and the back arrow will go back. And now I'll switch the dial to program start time. This has a lot of zones on it because this is a big controller. So I'm going to set one program start time to just hit plus and it'll be midnight. Um, you get over and the two will come up and that will be the second start time. I'm not going to run a second start time on this controller. And you'll be able to run multiple start times, probably like eight. You have up to eight start times on this controller. And you just arrow, and then plus and minus will change. You'll have to roll over if you want to, like, do 12 p.m. You go past again, and it'll roll over to the p.m. Um, next on the dial is set station run times. Now, depending on how many stations you have inside... And you'll just be able to set the run times with the plus minus arrow keys. And I'm going to set 30 minutes for a standard rotor zone. Uh, you can go all the way up to 40, 45 minutes if it's full sun, and down to about 20 minutes if it's the shade. And this, the next arrow is going to advance. This arrow will go back, but we're going to hit the advanced arrow and station 2. I'm going to set for 15 minutes using the plus key. And if you go too far, you can just minus back off. And that will be 15 minutes for a spray zone. Uh, spray zones in the shade could run from 5 minutes on all the way up to 20. 25 minutes is kind of a long time to run a spray zone, but depending... Certain types of sprays and your uh, Toro precision nozzles are going to run maybe even 30 minutes. Um, set days to water. I'm going to set this. It is standard to water every day. And if you just hit the arrow keys, it'll switch from interval days to days of the week to odd days to even days. And I'm just going to have this run odd days. It is an odd house number, and that's how most watering restrictions in my area are determined. I'm going to set seasonal adjustment, and right now it's 100%. I have what is called a solar sink, and here's what the unit looks like. And you don't need the panel because this Hunter controller has the built-in panel for the solar sink. But it's important that you remember if you put a solar sink, you put the green and the black wire in S1 and S2. The sensor one port, it doesn't matter which black or green goes in, Just you just have to have them wired into the first sensor port. And then it'll read the solar sink. And I don't have a pump, but you'll be able to set pump operation and determine which zones you want the master valve to run on. Cycle soak. This will determine if you want... You can determine if you want to run a five minute soak before because it'll help the water really get in and see I'm gonna put I'm 
we'll do two ten minutes. You know, you just repeat for each zone. Then hit the over arrow. And it's 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 alright for hills and stuff. Um sensor operation. It's gonna clark. Okay, sensor one. It's gonna tell you what stations you want the sensor to run on. If you have like flowers that you want to get watered, even if it rains, you can do that. Or an area with new sod that you want the sensor to ignore, you can temporarily do that. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on for all of the zones. Advanced features, we can set language, sensor configure flow. A lot of stuff I won't go into, the basics. Uh, I will talk about the solar. Region 4 is going to be the hottest. It's going to water you more. Region... Region 1 is going to be lowest. I'm in Region 1 in Minnesota. Actually, this is in Hudson. But... Um, plus minus, it's going to start to 5. It goes all the way up to 10. Think of 5 as 100%. 10 is 200%. And one is 20%. Just think of it that way. Or 0%. ET history. Doesn't have any history. Check sensor. Sensor not enabled. And then manual operations going to allow you to manually run the controller. And run will run. Thanks for watching.